had a chill day. We slept in because Elliot threw up a few times yesterday, so we just need to stay out of the heat. We're gonna go to the hammocks for a quick, quickly, and then we're gonna go to the pool. So we'll have fun, and we'll see you when we get back. Everybody's been up to the pool then. Yeah, mm -hmm. enjoyable. Mm -hmm. Had a good time for a couple of hours. Yeah. So today being. Uh, a lazy day that is we're just uh, staying here at the resort pool's good good choice I did get a couple of things for you because I had to go out for a couple of you so Baden and Rory today got that engraved Good everybody, welcome to day nine of our Walt Disney World United States holiday. Today has been officially designated a rest day. Kids have been um, just resting and sleep. Well, everybody had a bit of a sleep in and things like that. So at the moment we've got Jaden here with Sebastian. Jaden, I think is just got out of bed. It's, uh, well, I don't know, he's been sort of up and down, haven't you? Mm. Yeah, but had a good rest. Yeah. Ethan's over here, sort of still in bed. Mum's doing, she's just behind me here. She's doing uh, some editing, catching up on all of that because she's doing a fantastic job of um, putting together our vlogs while we're here uh, in the United States. And Bumby is right, is asleep right beside her. He was a little bit unwell last night, but he's good now. Uh, he's been really good today, so it's good. Just still adjusting, I think, to the change. There he is. Completely out to it. Just uh, still adjusting. And the weather's been you know, really warm, which takes also some adjusting to, especially for little ones. So that's what's going on in this side. Over here, not sure <laughs> what's going on in there. They're pretty much doing the same thing, I think. Yeah. So we're just resting in here too. Watching a bit of TV, you know. Just, yeah. As little as possible to recharge our batteries. We've had massive trip across here and then we went straight into um, doing heaps of stuff. So it's good to take this opportunity to have a rest day and uh, recharge your batteries a bit and uh, get ready for tomorrow. But with everybody having a rest day, I'm not feeling particularly like I need a rest now. Uh, thought it'd be a good idea just to give you a bit of an overview of um, Caribbean Beach. That is Sebi. He's along for the ride with me. There's a bit of construction around this particular uh, resort. There's a few things going on, we'll have a look at that see uh, what we can see. Our car is parked over there. We've got a high car, big um, silver Ford Transit van. Seats up to 15 people, so it's almost a bus. Some of you have asked in your comments what's it like being so used to driving on the other side of the road to drive a, to drive a vehicle where the steering wheel, it's a nice um, area there, um, particularly nice in the evenings, this little sort of um, area. It's only a matter of, you know, 10-15 uh, second walk from our room to here. Um, great spot to come out and relax in the evenings. Um, but getting back to what I was saying about the, the driving, um, driving on the ro different side of the road, wrong side of the road for us, and the steering wheel on the wrong side of the car, you do quickly um, get used to it. It's um, not as difficult a transition or change as it might seem. And I have done it a number of times now. This is my fourth trip to America, third time driving. I'm just used to it. You just gotta be a little bit more careful, a little bit more circumspect before you sort of um, take off, if you know what I mean. So there's the beach area there. So we're right on the corner now 
of Rivian Beach, uh, Trinidad North. So that's where, this is where Trinidad North uh, sort of apartment blocks stop or room blocks stop. And you head now over into what will soon be very much different than what it is right now. At the moment, this is what's, what's here. Here we go, it shows you a little bit about uh, the different areas of um, Caribbean Beach. So Old Port Royal, well, that's sort of center town and we at the check-in area and a few other things. We are here in Trinidad North. So we have the big pool here, we have a, an island here, we have Martinique, another air, a whole range of apartment blocks of, of hotel, motel, of rooms. We've got Trinidad South back here, Jamaica, which is over there, and Aruba, which is over there. Go around and have a look at those. And here used to be another range of buildings. That's all been gone, take, cleared away now for a brand new DVC or Disney Vacation Club building, um, which is currently under construction. I mean, it's not part of um, Caribbean Beach. In lieu of the fact that they're doing construction, they don't have an actual gift shop here at Caribbean Beach at the moment, so they just have this little truck here, this little truck stop where they have some gifts available. There's that. This is the banana, we say banana in Australia, but here they call it a banana, a banana cabana bar. So a temporary bar again, and this will be on the go, will be going also, um, probably sometime in the next two, two or so weeks as, as we've mentioned. Assuming that the timing is correct for the 1st of October, there's the pool. Uh, pirate cruise, oh yeah. Centre town tent, so that's the food tent. Which is where we've had a couple of breakfasts already. And it's really cool, because it's a full buffet breakfast, all you care to enjoy. For a uh, quick surf snack, quick surf credit, which we've been enjoying. And that's because it's a temporary thing, that's why we've been able to get an all you can care to enjoy meal for a quick serve. You wouldn't normally get that. Order the food over here and then you pick it up there when this is open. It'll be open later on today. Here's the pool area. It's a great pool. It's uh, sort of in the design of a, like an old Spanish fort. Um, very big uh, pool. There's a baby pool obviously there, and there's a, over there you've got a spa and whatnot. Here's a nice bit of bar area where you can sit and enjoy your drink. Some shade umbrellas here as well, which is important this time of the year. We've got the beach area down there as well if you want to sit at the beach nice lagoon around which the whole of Caribbean Beach sits and I'm just walking along this kind of promenade deck which is taking us around the pool. I hadn't noticed before that there's actually a pirate flag at the top there so this particular fort is controlled by pirates. Pirates of the Caribbean maybe? I reckon you're right. So this is another view of the pool area. See the cannon, there's cannon and everything inset into it. It's, theming is fantastic. I mean, that is what Disney does so well with their resorts, is the theming is just quite amazing. Yeah. A couple of, big, couple of big slides as well, which are actually in the wall area. So you can't actually see them. See just where they come out the bottom over there. Yeah. So way away over the back there, you can see the new building I was referring to before. So that used to be, I think Bermuda. Uh, used, used to be a, an, another area of buildings for um, hotel buildings, but it was re, uh, removed. And now they're building this great big new Disney Vacation Club resort down there. And cross over here now and 
and go over to this place, over the bridge, into this small island called Caribbean K. I would call it K, I would not call it Key, because it's C A Y, so Caribbean K. So I believe that it is uh, in this area where they have the they have a campfire, which would make sense. There's a campfire pit over there, so they'll do s'mores, what they the Americans call s'mores. So it's kind of like two sort of flat kind of biscuits with some sort of um, chocolatey stuff in the middle and marshmallowy stuff as well. They do that most nights. So that's done here at, at this little island, Caribbean Cape. Now the other thing, what's up here? Let's have a look. Here we have Caribbean Cave Playground for your enjoyment from sunrise to sunset. So that's what we've got here. Bit of a nice little children's playground over there. We're just going to head back out now. You can see the fake grass area. See what else Caribbean K has, apart from some beautiful, you know, um, foliage here and tree, all kinds of different um, trees, plants, very uh, rainforest style. Much cooler in this area. Obviously, the wind is cooled through the wind through the, all of the through all the uh, vegetation. It's another way in there to that same playground we were referencing just a minute ago. Disney. There's one thing Disney do well is that they make sure that there's always a bin very, very close to wherever you might happen to be. So there's no need for anybody to litter. I mean, there's a bin there, um, about 10 steps away from it. And there's another bin there. Okay, so here's another nice seating area, which uh, is once again just spectacular. You've got a beautiful, beautiful view, I think, of uh, Jamaica over there, Trinidad North, where we're where we are, there, back over here to the pool area and such, and the water out here and the breeze which doesn't appear to be existing anywhere else but on the Caribbean Cay today. Just really making it very pleasant. And a roof over your head as well so the sun stays off. Just really nice. So that's about it for Caribbean Cay. Just behind me exiting now, heading over the bridge over the other side, which brings us out clearly to the other side of the resort. So have a quick look across here and then head back across little bridge back to our side of the resort. You can see the construction here of the new DVC coming along greatly, very clearly. Yeah. One thing also that Disney are very good at is the manicuring of the gardens and grasslands and everything, it's always very important, immaculately well kept. So we have Jamaica and Trinidad that way. Okay. So going around this way will take us straight into Jamaica and then back around to Trinidad, which is where we are staying. So it'll take us home. And that way there is Aruba. Is the new poles for this Skyliner, one of the new poles. They are massive. I wonder if they'll make noise much when they're in. Don't know. But they won't be on the, actually up and running until next year. But they are very, very quickly getting those all those poles done all the way from here into Epcot. And a few other places as well, I believe. So Jamaica, it stands out different due to its different, slightly different design and also the colour of the buildings being this uh, wheat creamy sort of colour. Whereas Trinidad North, where we are and Trinidad in, in, in total, is that um, salmony, uh, pinkish, 
style color. There's a uh, sign there to Spyglass Grill. Now that's a new quick serve location. We haven't had a chance to eat there yet. We did go there the other night, but we got there a little late and unfortunately we missed out. This is very, very nice in here. Once again, you can see the, the lighting, the design around everything, you know, it just makes it the stay here if you were to stay in this area or indeed where we are staying um, so much more special because you can enjoy so much more the architecture and the way things look where we are there's a quiet pool there so every sort of area has its own sort of pool as opposed to separate to the big main pool which we've already seen have these smaller pools now I believe they're what they term quiet pools they're open 24 hours a day as long as you're quiet whereas the main pool that we've been past over there that shuts at 11 o'clock each night sort of nice hammocks here relaxing still on our way around to trinidad north and south still in the jamaica area though as you can tell by the color of the buildings i'm sure big palm trees Hammocks are really, really blend to the atmosphere. It really makes you feel like you're sort of part of that sort of feeling of being in the Caribbean, even though you're not. We're not far away here though in Florida. Caribbean ain't far away. Just about the end of Jamaica. We're gonna be heading around across that bridge over there in the distance to head back into Trinidad, in this case Trinidad South, and then back on home into Trinidad North, which is where we're staying. Yeah, so we're just heading through now this beautiful section with all these palm trees. And as I said, it's amazing the difference between when you walk with, when there's heavy sort of trees and foliage. It feels like 10 degrees cooler. It's pretty warm today. Uh, I think it's around 93 if you're in the Fahrenheit. I don't understand it very well, but I saw that on a weather report uh, in uh, Celsius, which is what I understand better, about uh, 32, 33 degrees Celsius. For those of you who understand that, like me. Spyglass Grill, which we're still heading towards. We'll have a quick look at that. And now there's this other building they're going flying through the construction of, which is behind me here. Let's have a look. They're all over there, it's a massive building. I'm not 100% sure what that building is in aid of. I think it may be to do with the Skyliner again. Maybe it's like a station, a waypoint station or something on those lines where, the, where your people come and go from. An entry point or perhaps an exit point uh, or both. So that's what could that, that could be. I'd say it's probably something to do with the Skyliner. Um, so we've got construction on both sides of us, down this end and down the other end as I showed you before, but we have not been hindered or we haven't heard it, um, haven't been hindered by it. There's a, there's a few more work people around, such as tradesmen sort of going through in their cars and whatnot, but it really and truly has been of no consequence to us uh, staying in Trinidad North. So over the bridge we go, a bit less rickety this particular bridge. Now you can see at both sides of this bridge there is Trinidad, Trinidad North where we're staying, Trinidad South. Now Trinidad South is further away from Centre Town and all of the amenities and things that are there than Trinidad North. But it does have the pirate rooms so special pirate rooms are in Trinidad South there and uh, they're really great for kids. But you do have to walk a bit further to get to sort of the amenities. Um, you know, if you want to go on and eat, drink and have a look at the sights there in the centre town. Spyglass Grill is that way. I'm thinking it's a little hot to take Sebastian all the way up there and back as he's getting a bit warm, so I'm going to get him home. But uh, we'll keep going while we're on our way home. But Spyglass Grill is that way. And as I said, just a little quick serve up there in uh, Trinidad South. Um, as you can see there, we've come, from, come around. We didn't go into Aruba, but that's what the pink buildings were. 
and we saw Jamaica. There's Trinidad South that you can see over there. And now we're heading back into Trinidad North. Coming up ahead of us is the Trinidad North pool. So the actual quiet pool, which I haven't been to. I believe a couple of kids have gone in for a dip in that pool. But as I said, during the day it doesn't get much use because everybody's at the big pool. But, but it is there, there's a few people in it right now, a few families, so, so that's nice. That's it behind me there. There you go. So if you're looking for a quieter spot, it's very loud, there's music and, and, and a lot of games being played and a lot of entertainment going on at the big pool, which is great. But if you are looking for a break from that, for a bit of a quiet, bit of just family time in the uh, pool there, you would, uh, yeah, you'd enjoy that. Some more hammocks and another small beach area here. Okay, so we're getting close now. What I want to do is I want to fill up my refillable cup here that I have. So as part of our um, package, that we purchased to come here. We were all given, as part of that package, the free refillable cups, uh, unlimited refills. Uh, oh, just to mention, just there, that building there is the laundry. So I've already used that, we've already used that laundry several times. Um, with a large family, obviously we get a lot of clothes really quick that needs to be washed and dried. They have washers and dryers in there and they're really quick. Wash, you can wash and dry Everything you need in an hour and a half, done. There's actually a um, QR barcode there on that wall that you can scan. Um, and it will, then you put the number of the machine in and it will alert you when your machine is finished so you can come back. So you don't have to worry about, oh, when's it finished? Do I need, I need to take note what time I need to come back. If you forget, it won't matter because you'll get an alert on your phone saying you, your washing's done. How cool is that? Now I'm just gonna take you to the freestyle um, Coke machine where they have all the different um, drinks. So they're mainly soft drinks. Here in building 33, oh, I think that's it up ahead. I might have to wait our turn. Can be popular, but usually you don't have to wait long because it's quick. Just gotta wait our turn and then we'll go in and get our drink. Okay, I have my cup. A refillable, pop it down in there. Cap. So now I just need to pick what I want. Now, lots of choices fruit flavored, caffeine free, low calorie, or all drinks. I'm gonna go with that. I know what I want. There we go. There's your pick. So much to choose from. I'm gonna go with a root beer. Sometimes you gotta tap it twice. For the low, the button. Oops. That's it, and you just close the lid like so. So there, there you go. Um, I can refill that as much as I need to or want to for the duration of my stay. Uh, we can just buy one for two weeks. But, uh, these vending machines are in all the resorts, not the parks, not in the parks, but in all the resorts. So we can go to any resort on Disney property and get free and get the free drinks there. And there's a large selection, but it's soft drink. Um, but there are other areas like in Centre Town, in the tent, you can get other drinks like coffee, uh, tea, uh, milk orange juice and sort of other things like that. But the Coca-Cola vending machine, obviously, is just soda or soft drink. Nearly home now. Only a building away. But they're, they're doing a little bit of work here on the garden, so we won't disturb them, we'll just push straight through. This is like an Arby's brisket burger we got last night. <laughs> Bambi, you can have some. Uh, it's cold. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's cold. It's like a cold meat sandwich. Oh.
Alright, we'll have it as a cold meat sandwich. So that's it there. It's a pretty decent looking one. <laughs> Elliot wants some. Give him a bit of the meat. Let him have a bite. Try a bite? No. Is there a knife or something we can cut it? No, we've got no knives no. here. Oh, my mouth is fit. Do you reckon my mouth is fit? No, you've got a big mouth. That's for <laughs> talking, not for eating. For both. I can't even do that. <laughs> oh, I'm going to break my jaw. <laughs> I'm already so full. It's raining out there. Yay. Only for like 10 more minutes. So what's the verdict, good? Do you like it? Mm-hmm. So certainly a lot of meat on that sandwich. <laughs> oh, it would take me so... You would have to give me an hour to eat that. Mm. It's good though. We are headed up the street. We're gonna go to Walmart via a really nice little township which is just a few kilometers from here called Celebration. Um, it's really picturesque, so we're going to go have a look at that. We went there four years ago? Yeah, 2015, I think it was. So three years ago, but not last year. Whoa, I have to run. We're in a town called Celebration, having a look around. I was just gonna go to the ATM. It is pouring. Oh. Ah, stop here, ah, stop here. Yeah, so we're in this beautiful place, the town called Celebration, as I said before, and then you just like something out of a picture book or a movie a story um, I think it's just clearly it's been very very um, lovingly done and uh, Isn't there an perfection or something you know so you don't, don't, don't normally see this but anyway I'm gonna go to the ATM over here get some money out try not to get too wet in the process just come down with a massive big downpour but it's still warm it's not even cold Maybe if you're not standing out in it for too long, you get a bit wet. So the rain has nearly stopped. <laughs> a little bit wetter than we were before. But anyway, trying to work out an American or United States ATM from an Australian one. Sounds uh, like they'd be much the same, but they're just a little bit different. We worked, we worked it out, Got a little bit of extra cash. But anyway, back to the car. Well, we did finally make it to Walmart. Different Walmart again. We've been to uh, I think this is our third different Walmart this trip. So many in in, um, in Orlando. But uh, yeah, got a few things uh, just to stock up. Kids and Rachel are just over there, just finalizing, getting organized. And uh, yeah, we'll be heading, heading home. And uh, gearing up for another big day tomorrow. Back on the beam tomorrow after our rest day. So, you got a to-go plate from the food tent. Oh, you did get a fair bit of Spaghetti, this. hot dog, meatballs, sausage, chicken, yeah. um, chicken wings, uh, pastry, and a brownie up here on the light. Ah, all right. Because there are no shelves or anything, so it's like yeah, the easiest yeah, yeah. place for it. That looks like a decent enough meal. Oh, what about good. yourself there, Caleb? Oh, and mustard. I got, okay. I got a little bit of rice. Buffalo ring, chicken wings, um, chicken nuggets, and uh, half of this thing is just spaghetti. 
Okay. We've got a lot more by the look of it. You didn't really load it up too much, but I got more than him. Oh, I reckon Perhaps. they have the smart with the spaghetti. I call spaghetti spaghetti. Oh, boys. Well, enjoy. Eh? That's our so-called rest day. <laughs> it was a restful morning. Um, had a reasonably busy afternoon and evening though, so it was good. Looking forward now to tomorrow. Another day back at the park, so we'll see you then. And until tomorrow, hooray mate.